two, one. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is the Digital Excursion. I'm your host, Marlon Abram. Um, if you like what we do here, you can support us by subscribing. You can comment. You can leave a comment. You can leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can also reach us at the digital excursion at gmail.com. Uh, find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Uh, rate us five stars, of course. Uh, what's up, guys? This is, I'm sorry, this is Justin Pua. I'm back. <laughs> We couldn't keep him. We couldn't keep him away. No application. He just, kept, sent through. He just kept joining the Zoom chat. I was yeah. like, "Damn!" Uh, bring order to this podcast. <laughs> I would like to apologize on behalf of the digital excursion for Marlon's comments about Christian Bale being a scrawny Batman. He exactly. is a scrawny exactly. Batman. He's he not. is. He has a smaller frame than Ben Affleck. That's what I'm saying. Ben Affleck is only like two inches taller than than Christian Bale. Okay, okay, okay. Think about it like this. Tyron is about two inches taller than me. He has a bigger <laughs> frame than I do. Damn, thanks for calling me fat there. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. Like, you can get bigger than I can, or vice versa. I don't know. I'm pretty fat but right now. But he's not scrawny, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Christian Bell's scrawny. Anyway, <laughs> we also got Tyron Lee. <laughs> I guess. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Robert Pattinson is kind of scrawny too. He right. is. Well, you froze up for a bit. Uh, that he means your comment is not relevant. Batman. Oh, I said like... that Robert Pattinson is oh. is the scrawny Batman. No. Okay. Oh, I no, mean, no. yo, we heard you. We heard you. Okay. There can be two. Mm. There, there can be two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, honestly, I've never met Christian Bell in person. He might be a bigger person. I don't know. He's six feet tall. That doesn't mean he's not scrawny. There are some very tall, scrawny people. Yeah, and he's not one of them. <laughs> All right, he's he's just smaller. He's just smaller than I would expect a Batman Fair to be. Fair enough. All right. All right. This is, Justin was up in arms about this for days. <laughs> it was that like was for like, an hour. That was offensive. <laughs> Dude, why was it offensive to you? <laughs> because he's fucking buff as fuck, and it made headlines that he he put on so much muscle to be Batman. They say that about every person who plays a superhero. Paul Rudd put on muscles to play Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, but not like Christian Bale. Christian Bale literally went from scrawny to buff. You know what? That I'm thinking about. Christian Bale does that a lot, and I don't think that could be healthy for your body to be losing not. weight like that and gaining yeah. weight like that. Right? Like Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. And the other movies he's done, like mm-hmm. that can't be good for you. No. Do you get workers' comp from Hollywood if you like <laughs> something goes wrong? I don't think so. Well, like, I duh. think it's they don't do it like every year though, right? I think they just do it like every couple five years or so. So I think they should be fine. Um, I think didn't Christian Bell shoot Batman and the Machinist around the yeah, same time? Like back to back. Yeah. So that's muscle to like, yeah, bone. You know, skin looking like a zombie. Around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he would literally take uh, pints of ice cream and then melt it in the microwave and then chug it to put on the weight. That's smart. Oh, I didn't think about that. Mm-mm. I mean, it's crazy, but you know, it worked for him. Yeah, I guess when you're getting paid billions of dollars. I guess I'd do it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we got some news today, guys. Uh, some stuff about Hellboy uh, coming back for the third time. Uh, we got some Marvel news, as usual, per usual. Uh, Ant Man reviews since Ant Man is the latest movie to come out, starting off Phase Five. Uh, some stuff about Jonathan Majors, H.I., and the new movie Sisu. So let's start uh, Start with Hellboy. Um, so apparently there are talks to reboot the franchise of Hellboy once again. Uh, it was, uh, when did the first movie come out? Like early 2000s? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like Hellboy and then Hellboy the Golden Army. I, I don't even know who played Hellboy in those movies. It was uh, Ron Perlman and then... Yeah, 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 Ron Perlman. David Harbour in the new one? The, well, yeah, David Harbour was in the next reboot. And that one had, I guess, didn't receive the uh, claim that it, that they hoped it would 
get. So they kind of killed, started it and then killed the franchise. And now they're coming back for a third time. And it seems like it's going to be another like origin story for Hellboy. Uh, do you guys like the Hellboy movies? Is it a, a franchise you guys enjoy? Uh, no, I remember watching either the first or second one and just zoning out and not finishing it. The first one with Ron Perlman, I like. The second one, I'm the same with. I'm the same as you. I didn't really, and I didn't watch the David Harbor one mm. at all. So. I thought, the first two, I thought the first two was pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't remember it too much, but <laughs> it's like it was a it was a good watch. <laughs> yeah. it's something to play in the background. Yeah, that's exactly exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Hellboy seems like a popular character. Like you think he would be more popular, but they just can't seem to get it off the ground like that. He's more of like a like an indie character, but I guess he's popular oh, for hippies. For... For a uh, for an indie character, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I what guess so. Was that what was what was the first Hellboy about? Uh, I don't know. He makes a a fish man. Yeah, those, <laughs> the uh, second one. Was like, <laughs> I really don't remember it. It's I, a long time ago. I don't remember either. That movie, that movie used to scare me, so I didn't watch it that much. Did uh, Guillermo del Toro do both, or was it only the second one? I I think he did the first two. I don't know who I don't know who did the David Harbor one, mm. but uh, maybe they should put him in the MCU. Maybe he'll start thriving then. He is an MCU is character. Hellboy? Well, he is a Marvel okay. character. Yeah, yeah, he's a Marvel character, but he's like way different than you know what they got in their kind of like cinematic universe. You know, he won't fit. Maybe. Maybe with Doctor Strange. Wait, is he a Marvel character? I think so. I thought he's a Dark Horse, and I thought he was just like indie. No, I don't remember. I don't think he's Dark Horse because Dark Horse is uh DC. You might be right, uh, Justin. Just go to Wikipedia. I'm on Wikipedia. Hellboy. <laughs> oh, uh, Dark Horse. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We get this one to Justin. Justin. Justin won Marlin Five. <laughs> Justin, who reads comic around. books. <laughs> Um, wow, who would have known? I guess hey. Justin would have known. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no Dark Horse universe or anything like that, huh? Mm-hmm. It's just like, uh, you know, Image and Invincible, they're all their no, I mean, like, universe. Uh, other Dark Horse uh movies. Oh, other ones like Cinematic Universe. Uh, 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 there's a universe, there might be other Dark Horse movies. characters. Mm, mm. Anyways, well, hopefully it does good. Uh, moving on. Um, so like we said, Marvel is jumping into their phase five. Uh, it's been going. This Marvel universe has been going on for a hell of a long time, especially the last phase. I have put out a lot, a lot of different types of content. So this phase, starting this phase, they're saying that they're going to start putting out less and less shows. I guess to kind of, I, I feel like this this point. Even after hearing the reviews of Ant-Man and the Wasp, I feel like at this point they don't really know what the plan is exactly all the way going forward. So they're like, let's chill for a minute. No, no, it's not that they're putting out less shows. It's they're only guaranteeing two shows this year because they want to focus on the quality of the shows. Oh, is that why? Yeah, so it's only Secret Invasion and what is the other one? I think it was Armor Wars or. Um, oh, it's Loki. Loki, Loki and Secret Loki Wars. season two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's only those two. The other shows that have been lined up are only they're going to try to put it out this year, but it's not like guaranteed like those two are. Yeah. I mean, they put out a lot of shit, though. Last... And I think that's why they're like reining it in because, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of shows out. Yeah, and like I would, yeah, I think it's probably better at this point to focus on the quality because I think, you know, like we talked about before, some of their quality and shows and writing is taking a dip from what it used to be. Um, yeah, I guess. You don't think so? I don't think it's it's taking a dip. I just think it's they're just throwing a lot of stuff out there. And that's what happens. You, you 
choose quantity over quality. Something's got to give. Yeah. I don't know. Like the Marvel stuff as a whole has been solid. So not Ant Man. Not Ant Man. Not Ant I'm a, a, a Thor. Not Thor Love and Dunder. I was like, man, I didn't need to watch this at all. <laughs> I thought it was okay. It's not, no, I, yeah. I, I can see why. It was okay. Like it. But it's not compared to all the other movies that they put out. I'm like, they could have done a better job here. Mm. You know, uh, that was their fault for letting uh, Taika run wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I felt the same with the show uh, Miss Marvel. I thought it had a good start, but then I felt like it fell apart towards the end. I think that's all Marvel shows. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. The quality. <laughs> but No, but the overall quality is good. It's just they always seem to rush the end. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get you. It's like if you're in a class and some of your papers had A's and some had D's, mm-hmm. but, you, but you end up with a B average. Yeah. Yeah. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I thought you would have done better than that, Justin. Not because you're Asian. Oh, no. <laughs> or anything like that. I've done a lot worse. <laughs> uh, speaking of quality, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp just dropped. Uh, now, I don't think any of us have seen it. Tyron was supposed to go. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Tyron was supposed to go see it, too. Yep. I saw it. I thought it was good. You thought it was good? Yeah, I don't think it, it's deserving of all the hate everyone's giving it. Yeah, well, I haven't seen it, but I've been hearing a lot of mixed. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of mixed like um, um, reviews. I mean, what do you what do you think about it? I mean, you said it was okay, but yeah, like uh, my issue with it was that the quantum realm stuff is just weird, and I know that's dumb saying because that's always where it was leading up to. Mm-hmm. But I always like Ant Man as like your everyday superhero, even though like a Spider-Man. Kinda, yeah. But this is like uh I know this is where they were always gonna put him. Because it was all it was always leading up to the quantum realm. Yeah. But I just prefer him to be, you know, real world Ant Man, like, you know. Yeah. In this weird uh other universe. Yeah, that's a lot of the criticism I heard. Like people miss the fact that it was a a man who could shrink down and like interact with the giant size world around mm-hmm. him. Right. Yeah. Is it kind of like the first Man was about the first one? Uh, no. This is like this one feels more like a way different departure from the original ones. Mm-hmm. I, they were trying to give him like higher stakes, would you say? Oh yeah, it's definitely higher stakes. It went from like zero to hundred compared to the the first two. Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I'm agreeing yeah, with you. I'm not gonna <laughs> spoil everything. I will say I did like Modok, even though everyone else hated him. Yo, I seen the pictures. Like, I couldn't stay away from all the spoilers. Like, they're all over my phone. Every time I open my phone, it's just right there in my face but i've seen the pictures and i'm like that's creepy but <laughs> that's modok you know yeah there was that's never, what it looks like you know they were never gonna get away with trying to justify modok being a serious villain yeah like if they wanted to make him a human with just a big ass head i think people yeah. would even would have hated that even more mm-hmm. you know so, the way they 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 made him like kind of comedic <clears throat> i think just fits better with ant-man yeah well i'm talking more like the look like i'm hearing a lot of people talk about like the bad cgi on modok and how they made him i'm mm-hmm. like the, the dude's an ugly motherfucker he's that's yeah. what he's supposed to look like he's a giant head with little limbs like yeah <laughs> it's like that's it <laughs> um yeah my it looks cool like i really want i want to go, i really want to go to the theaters to see it now for people who don't know, I think on Rotten Tomatoes it's sitting at like a what a forty-eight critic score and a eighty-four audience score. Would you say that's pretty accurate in your opinion? <laughs> uh, accurate, as in like that's what people said, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> I mean, do you think it deserves a forty-eight? No, that's way too low. That's very low. Yeah, that. Yeah, I I, I 
don't agree with that. Man, Rotten Tomatoes, you can suck it. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Uh, no, just that, like, I, I don't know. The, the opinion of the people is this. I think once someone starts hating on it for whatever reason, a lot of people just, like, pile on. Yeah, it's uh, the bandwagon. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the hate bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, guys, uh, go watch Ant Man and the Wasp. I'm gonna see it on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we always say that. <laughs> like, I'll see it when it comes out. <laughs> I mean, I watch stuff. Uh, I watched it in 3D. I actually recommend watching it in 3D. It oh, for real? Yeah. Man, I don't like it's watching 3D. Still not 3D. Yeah. You gotta put the glasses like, on and everything, or yeah. Oh, I thought they evolved from glasses by now. I don't know. <laughs> just, just put something in your eyes. Some oh, eye drops. <laughs> so there's like only certain movies that I would like to see in 3D. Doctor Strange was one of them. And this mm-hmm. has moments like Doctor Strange where it's totally trippy and it's really cool to see in 3D. So I yeah. recommend it. Yeah. I don't like the glasses. They tickle my nose. Yeah. Well, I wear glasses every day. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, just as used to. Yeah. I know that's the only, that's the only reason why I don't like 3D movies. Uh, <laughs> um, so you know, there's been a lot of press around Ant Man, and uh, one of the main characters, Jonathan Majors, um, who plays Kang, the villain, has to going around been doing a lot of the press and a lot of photo shoots, and recently has come under fire, um, upsetting the old black man community. <laughs> for his uh photo shoot with ebony magazine um so i don't know if you guys have seen this picture but i'll explain it he's uh topless he's got like a pink shawl over him a red beanie and he's like um the like, background's like all pink so you know um old black people are saying this is a, the deep escalation of men and it needs to stop but it comes out, you know, the designer who took the photo was just taking inspiration from a character from One Piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, have you guys seen the picture? Maybe I should show you. Yeah, I've seen I it. I think I'm seeing it. Is he describing one more time? He's sitting on a couch. Is that the one I'm looking at? Yeah. And he has like the pink shawl and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree with these old black men, Tyron? Well, I gotta ask a question because it it looks a certain way. Is he uh, um, I don't know what the crap uh, word, but is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make a difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, it it kind of poses him like that. That's what I'm saying. Um, from far as I know, he has never said anything about that. I don't think. I think he's a heterosexual male. Um, but you know, that doesn't make it any less uh masculine. You know, so when I see the picture, I'm like, damn, this dude got muscles. You know. Wait, so uh, what are they saying exactly? Uh, they're they're saying it's a demasculation of black men. You know how like black men in media dress feminine, or like with Tyler Perry, he dresses like a woman, you know, they always have black men playing women, you know. You know, some people don't like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't. I I said I agree to a certain point. If he's like, for if they're like forced and pressured onto them by d- looking that way, then yeah. But like, I don't what know was the inspiration from a? It. it was inspiration from a character from One Piece. Watched, that's how. Oh no, I have not. That's how the character dresses. One Piece. Uh oh, oh, this guy. I see. Yeah, huh? I don't know if he's he, <laughs> like, dog, that the... changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was saying, like, if what's this guy, Kane name? If that guy is fine with it, then I'm like, it's no, it's not a big deal. But like I say, if they get pressured by it, then yeah. But I don't know. He didn't doesn't seem like he was pressured. No, I don't, I don't think he was pressured, but you know, I don't think they would agree to it if they were. Oh, he lagged out. Pressured into doing that. No, we're gonna have to give uh, Justin oh, a, like a chat box. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I said uh, I don't think he would like like agree to do it if he's being pressured into it. 
No, I don't think so either. And my point is like, sorry, I had a little burp, little baby burp. Yeah, I have that too, <laughs> my point is, is like, um, I'm not going to say men, but just people in the Hollywood dress weird all the time. Right. You know, they are very, whether you're male or female, but I'm talking about males right now, like, they're, they can be very flamboyant with their with their style, you know. Like, look at the Met Gala. People are dressing like fools all the time over there, and no one says anything, <laughs> you know. That, that is definitely true. Yeah, I'm like, why does she have on aluminum foil? She It's because it's the Met Gala. In my neighborhood, she'd be a, a crazy homeless-looking person. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, uh, it depends on the context i guess yeah or even black men there you know but when this comes out like jonathan majors is set to be like one of the next kind of leading men of our generation so you know he's very like kind of i guess macho or whatever so i guess that goes against what people think about him but i'm like come on it's it's not a huge deal it's not i think he's got more silly. muscles than anyone i know so <laughs> <laughs> he is not scrawny <laughs> <laughs> I believe most people calling him like unmasculine, they would never say it to his face. Oh heck no. No, I don't think so. He looks like he can punch some people's lights out. Yeah. That's yeah. why he's in Creed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, oh, that is right. Oh, he is in Creed. Yeah, he's in like every he's movie. In every movie right now. <laughs> yeah, every <laughs> movie coming out this year. Uh, <laughs> possibly every other Marvel movie coming out this year too. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how many movies he signed on for. But like, probably for Marvel. every one. That's crazy. Like the sheer amount of characters that he's gonna have to play. So far, he's played a bunch of different Kangs, and they're all very distinct. So props to him. I, I've, I've seen some of it. Like you know, some of will have like a different voice or something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Sometimes being an actor looks hard. Man. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, uh, what's this that you wanted to talk about? AI, huh? <laughs> Tyron. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I remember. <laughs> uh, so, uh, about two days ago, or whatever day, I found out. I don't know if people already know about chat GBT is just like a text chat bots so that you can like yep. ask any questions. And I love it. It writes all my emails. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> it does now. Wait, for so work? you ask it to like write yep. your email. For I, I say respond to this for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like wow. a personal assistant. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is. And then, um, it blew up and then Microsoft, like, I don't know, like invested like a hundred million or I don't know what the number was. It was like a whole lot of money. But now it's oh, in Bing. I don't know if you guys ever use Bing, Bing or yeah. The, the search engine that yeah. lost to Google. I guess you could say they lost. Yeah, huh? I, I, didn't, I, know never Bing about. Still, I didn't know Bing was still alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's pre-installed into Windows computers. I'm not for sure on that, though. Is it? Huh. It's okay. just uh, when you load like Microsoft uh, browsers, it'll bring up Bing instead of Google. Gross. Ew. Yeah, but now they got the AI <laughs> chat box. I don't know what they're calling it, but whatever it is. But they got it inside of the own Bing mm -hmm. uh, search engine. So you could search up whatever you want to search up. But then there's like a little another text saying like, hey, you want to look up for AI, yada, yada. That's not the news I want to get at. The news that I heard <laughs> uh, like two days ago was that they're implementing ads into the AI chat box. So Wait, they could how, be like, how does that work? I'm sorry, go ahead. You, you're explaining okay, yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can ask the question like, hey, um, if you have no idea what the topic is, like, I don't know, uh, I'm looking at my phone. Like, what's the best phone right now? And if Microsoft, since Microsoft, do they have a phone? I don't think so. But whoever they Not had sure. partnership with, you could ask it who has the best phone. They'd be like, oh, yeah, these are the top five phones, yada, yada. They have these type of specs. But if you want to check out, uh, I don't know, Google phone, since we got sponsored by them, you get a 30% discount off of Google right here. And it's like trying to like, like you in a way or like. Uh -huh. 
trying to say like, oh, I don't know, they probably implement ads in that way or like somehow they got they got to keep their partners happy, man. I don't know. I think they just ruined the yeah. whole AI experience in that well, way. Well, you know, no, uh, no good idea goes unmonetized. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it's if something like that is popping off, of course someone's gonna take it and try to make some money from it. You can't just have that shit for free. I don't, but Chat GPT has a premium subscription already, or I think but they're just, starting to, yeah. which is like you got unlimited questions or whatever topics. And I'm like, that should have been like the default, not like they implementing ads into your answers. Now, like people who's blind to the topic, they could be like, oh, yeah, this ad is like the best one, I guess, or whatever they suggested for an ad. Mm-hmm. That they so don't, they, they don't, I don't think they even say it's an ad. They just put it in. They just there, throw like, it in. It's, it's the power of suggestion. Yeah. I mean, like, yo, I heard Google phones were the best. <laughs> like this, <laughs> this Google AI told me to. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, that's like a new form of advertising, man. That's kind of, it's kind of scary, but it's kind of cool at the same time. You know, they get real inventive with new technology. I think uh, Uh, Microsoft should not be able to invest any money into AI no more because of that reason. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this is why you don't own the company (laughs) because... Um, yo, you know, it's crazy. Also, I just saw like there's a AI video editing like software as well. What? Yeah. Like What's it can it called? take you. I, I can't think of the name right now, but um, I see I saw like a little preview for it and you can like take your video or like a concept video and you can say make it look like a Marvel movie, make it look like Goodfellas or something, some some, And like it'll like automatically just kind of give your film or video that kind of look to it you know what i'm saying it's basically doing the same thing as chat gpt where you can ask it to yeah. make something in a certain style yeah 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 but like with video yeah that's crazy man Wait, like so what's... do you have to give it footage at all or they just take footage from somewhere else no i think you have to give your your own footage but i'm not too sure about that mm-hmm. But it's like we have just like a concept and you're know, like you can kind of almost fully flesh it out even if you haven't shot, you know, shot it in a certain way, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe. This AI <laughs> stuff is, uh, it's, I don't know, it's getting like really intense. I mean, it's like, it's, it's getting really, what am I trying to say? Uh <clears throat> It's developing really fast, you know, yeah, especially for creative fields. I think it's at that point where on the, (sighs) on like, you know, the cutting edge of technology where it's about to develop really fast and become more integral part of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Like with that, it's raising like the, the moral dilemma of uh, how you should use this. Yeah. So I know we, we've talked about this before about like, you know, AI art and now people are like up in arms about it because people are training the AI to copy (laughs) people's styles without their consent. Yeah. So it's make like making art that looks like someone else's art without them actually drawing it. So there's like that whole ethical thing of, you know, should this be used in that fashion? And it's, yeah 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 or another ai program it has like a a voice modulator thing it's kind of like you know those old change your voice type things Mm -hmm. but it's like you can put your song into this ai program and say make me sound like kendrick lamar and it'll change your voice to match his you know Mm -hmm. that it's like you know it's uh the deep fake yeah yeah basically yeah there's a popular video right now of uh Mm -hmm. donald trump and and Biden playing Overwatch and it's like deep faking their voices and it sounds pretty pretty accurate. No nah, man, that was real. <laughs> kind of scary. That, that was real. Oh yeah, they're, they're just in a, you know. Yeah, you don't know they Overwatch. hang out? Yeah. <laughs> right. 
I'm thinking with all this AI, we all gonna turn into Tony Stark and just like be in our rooms doing this in the air. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up doing that. Or we either or that or we'll we'll flip it and we'll all turn to the people from Wally. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> you see the chairs they had? My God. I never have to step foot on the ground again. <laughs> you know, they should come out with another Wally too, just to explain more about what happened to the world. It was in the credits. Who's wait, what? Oh, that was no, they didn't. Not before they Yeah. Wait, what? like what what happened before the planet got destroyed or or after? Yeah. Before. I said before. Well, it was trash. Huh. Yeah. No, before how did it become trash? Or do they already well, explain that? It was people didn't, like consumerism and just yeah. overproduction of stuff. People didn't throw away their shit. Thing and then just, yeah. Or they threw away all their shit that they didn't need and just clogged up the planet. Mm-hmm. Oh. You missed that part, huh? Oh, I probably did. <laughs> it's like I was just here for the robot love. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I did watch in theater, we did come in about like 10, 15 minutes late. <laughs> you missed the whole setup. It's like, oh, this dude flying with a fire extinguisher. I came in when Eve uh, dropped on on the planet. Oh, okay. Yeah. You kind of missed the setup of the movie. You never went back and watched it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I would really think I would want to uh, see a Wally too. I don't know about that. It was perfect as it was. I thought uh, they never explained. Oh yeah, I, discard everything I said. I'm gonna cut that out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Justin, tell us about this seesaw movie. Oh, so I just saw I'm this kidding. trailer. On that was Twitter. just a joke. <laughs> Wait, like, do you want me to talk about this? No, yeah, but it's called Seesaw. <laughs> Yeah, Sisu. It is a trailer I saw on Twitter last night. It's basically a man like digging for gold and suddenly he's trying to get to the bank and he runs into some Nazis and it turns into uh like John Wick fighting Nazis. So I really want to see this movie. It looks really cool. Yeah, hey, I watched the trailer and the first thought the first thought that popped in my head was like, is that Tom Hanks? And I'm like, no, that's not Tom Hanks. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. Old man fighting off everybody. Old man action star trope. <laughs> Here we go again. Just, he's just like spending the whole movie killing Nazis and doing horrible things to them. Doing the Lord's work. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah, I saw the trailer. I was like, it's cool. Well, I mean, if you see my next topic. I know. I <laughs> you, need, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not too enthused. I think, I'm like, I think I'm not too into action movies. I think that's what it is. Mm. You know, like the one man mercenary type movie, like, I can kill everybody. You know what I mean? Wouldn't Marvel consider action movies, though? I, I think he doesn't like that, that <clears throat> whole trope of uh, one man army. Yeah, mm, Rambo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think Arnold I'm into it. Yeah, who is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Our, wait. No, he wasn't our mayor, was he? No, he was, was our governor. governor. <laughs> he was our governor. Oh, governor. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, but I watched the trailer. I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's got some, it's got some explodey stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for shooting Nazis. Is it on uh is it coming out in theaters? Uh no release date, but it said coming soon. So it's just soon anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, probably like in a few months, I guess. Yeah. Word, word. Uh, That's what it's called. Sisu. Yeah. C shoe with the yeah, what does that mean? I think it? it's I think he's he's like it's like a like a European name. I don't know. Oh, is this like a foreign film? Sorta, yeah, because like it's uh, him losing. Thing. He lost his family in the war, and then yeah, I forgot where exactly mm. it takes place, but 
Pretty sure that's his name. Sisu. Oh, where? Yeah. Where? All right, nice. Uh, this is the part of the show where we uh talk about what we're watching, guys. Um, and for this part, I'm gonna go first because it lines up with what we were just talking about. <laughs> um, so this weekend, I really, really, really tried to watch John Wick. I've never seen John Wick before. The fourth one was coming out soon. So I'm like, let me give John Wick a chance. And you know what? John Wick sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the first one? Yeah, I watched the first one. I even finished watching the first one. I was just like, this movie is putting me to sleep. I cannot. <laughs> I know there's a lot of John Wick fans out there. People love the movie. People love the franchise. Look, I wanted to love it too. I could not. <laughs> I These just, are the, the types of movies that shouldn't put you to sleep. <laughs> this movie put me to... Look, the whole first 30 minutes is like massive setup with almost no dialogue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the shit that put me to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, by the time he starts killing people, I'm like, I'm not even interested anymore. <laughs> the action got oh, in the first five minutes. It's just, I don't know. There was just so much in the beginning. Like, I can't accurately judge the whole movie because I didn't finish the whole movie. But just so much in the beginning that just didn't work for me. The first 30 minutes are just an emotional ride of just his dealing with his loss. And then I think Mm -hmm. maybe at the 30 minute mark when it started building up, when uh, he meets like the Russians. So maybe that's that's how I started. (laughs) That's how I felt. Right. So this is my thing. Look, the loss of his wife. Yeah, it's tragic, but we don't get to spend any time with him and his wife at all. It's just like she's kind of dead. And then they killed the dog. Yeah, that's the real catalyst for this movie. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. The The catalyst is they killed the dog. But then again, we don't really spend too much time with him and his dog. Like, the dog is there for a minute. He's still a puppy. He doesn't, like, grow old with this dog. And then the dog's dead. Yeah, dead the animals. Dog. That's sad. That's why <laughs> you should feel... You know, empathy for this guy. <laughs> I feel no empathy. The dog Jeez. was his own, his like his hope because he was like going through like a whole lot of stuff, and that one dog mm. was his only hope to like come back I, to life. And or they whatever. took it away from him. I yeah. get it. I get it. I felt no empathy for the dog. I saw the dog for two scenes. Mm. <laughs> this is how I would have wrote it, right? Fuck the dog. Get the whole dog out of there. I don't care about the dog. Wow. <laughs> Saying Give me more time with like six dogs. <laughs> no, okay, no, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me run that back. I, I hope Keep Boomy the... is not in the room while he's reading this. <laughs> he's like, hmm? he's, like, he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep the dog, but also show me John Wick and his wife over the passage of time with their dog. Do a whole Marley and me situation, <laughs> right? His wife dies from illness. And then all he has left is his dog who's been there the whole time and they fuck up the dog. I think that's better. But that's overplayed, though. It's not overplayed. I have an emotional investment. I didn't care about that dog. That scene or that storyline been told so many times, like... And it works. You already kind of (laughs) know what happens. And (laughs) then the compressed version of that. I did not like it. It did not work for me. I was like, why am I supposed to care about this dog and this man? I because don't. he's already like grieving and this is like his his <laughs> life at this point. This is all he has. For a week? <laughs> yeah. Get, an, get another dog. It's only been a week. He, he he He's already attached to that dog and then they kill it. So that sets him off. That's like, you know, the straw that breaks the camel's back. And then, you know, he goes on his killing spree. Okay, also, because I got to wrap it up So, <laughs> Also, too much silence in the beginning. It's just a lot of quiet scenes. People, people, yes, there's dialogue, but there just needs to be a little bit more something happening in the beginning, in the first part. I know it's set up, but it's a lot of setup on setup on setup on setup. And I'm like, when's this shit going to pay off? 
Yeah, it pays off the rest of the movie. Uh, I can't even get to that part, man. I stopped the movie. <laughs> He's just a hater. I am. I did not. I was not feeling that John Wick one. I I was I was like, what's the hype? I don't get it. I <laughs> didn't finish it. I couldn't, man. It didn't grasp me in the beginning. It's supposed to catch you in the beginning. It did not. Anyways, that's my that's my uh, review. John Wick gets a two <laughs> out of five <laughs> or a ten out of ten. <laughs> the horrible takes on this podcast. <laughs> that's the worst. Hey, I don't worst follow the crowd. I don't follow the crowd. All right, John Wick should have been a better movie. This is. He got three sequels. That one meal's good. <laughs> well, you know, look. This is why I say I'm not really into the one man action thing. I, it's not my cup of tea in the, in the first place. And also Keanu Reeves, I'm not even a big fan of Keanu Reeves too much. I like him in some movies, not every movie. That's fair. Yeah. And this one, he's just like, they took my dog. <laughs> like, yeah, you okay. You don't, you don't fuck with a man's dog. <laughs> It's like that's why just, it resonates with a lot of people. I don't know, man. The performances too, they just uh, I, I digress. I digress. <laughs> uh before we get out of here, what are you guys watching? Uh oh, I've been go? watching oh. uh The Quick and the Dead, which is a Western movie by Sam Raimi in, in the nineties. <laughs> I recommend it. Uh, it's about uh, this woman that goes into a town and enters their like shooting competition. Nice. Yeah, it stars uh, Sharon Stone and uh, Gene Hackman, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, really? Uh, Russell Crowe. I've never East heard David. of David. Oh, yeah, never. Yeah, I never heard of it either. And then I just saw it on Netflix. It's pretty good. Like I recommend it. Um, they managed to make gunfights you know western gunfights where they're just like point and shoot pretty mm-hmm. exciting so when did that come out a long time ago huh 95 oh word yeah. that's my year Dang. give it a shot <laughs> no pun intended there's, a, there's some like interesting shots that they do uh for some of the like gunfights so Nice, yeah, I just nice. seen one shot of a guy's head. You can see a hole through his head, and then just the guy oh, pointing got it. You know, <laughs> you've seen it. I've seen a bit of it, but like, okay, uh, yeah, I won't spoil who 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 dies though. But the, yeah, that's. Oh, what about you, Tyre? Uh, well, I just got it was on Peacock. Uh, Tar, Tar the movie. I don't know if you guys. Oh, ever yeah, you, heard you've about talked it. about that with the, the conductor lady. Yeah, so I was building so much hype for myself because um, I I felt like this was going to be my favorite movie. <laughs> and it paid off. I'm oh, happy. <laughs> nice. But it's one of those movies that like like the general public will hate. So because mm-hmm. it's like what Marlon said, he hates slow movies. It It's like 80% talking. I didn't say that. People talking. I didn't say that. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. They do not taste good. Don't. <laughs> Well, it's just like 80% talking, like 20% conflict, you know? So it's like, if you like one of those sit-down movies where it's super slow, Tar is pretty good. Word, word. Well, good. Well, guys, go ahead and uh, give Tar a chance. Don't watch John Wick because it sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to leave John Wick alone. People love that movie. <laughs> um. With that, guys, we're going to close out the show. Thank you for watching The Digital Excursion once again. Thank you for supporting us. You can email us at thedigitalexcursion at gmail.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram, TikTok, everything. Um, We love you. We thank you. And we out.